What's up, Trekkies? Hi, so it's kind of newstastic. Not, whatever. It's like not a lot of news, but there's some news. I almost went out of frame there. Try to fold my legs back up. Let's see here. <clears throat> Probably better. Um, trying to avoid leg thing. So we got ever since Midnight Now Live, which was posted on the Wednesday. I'm looking at the wrong date there. It was posted on Thursday because it's not live. It's live again. Da, da, da. New rewards are out. I missed the Cardassian revamp episode one, Cardassian revamp episode two. And they announced the tier six Hestia, Hestia class, but then they just put out the, the stats like this morning as of eight o'clock. So an hour and 20 minutes ago. Okay, so let's go over this one real fast. Revamp, I've got both of them here. All the links are below. So what it looks like they're doing is they're going to be revamping like Bajor surface. Like they're gonna be adding taller buildings in it <laughs> and whatnot. Cause that's what this screenshot shows. That's, that's kind of cool there. From what I understand is they're gonna, like the Cardassian struggle arc over on the side is gonna be, it says over the next few weeks, we'll be unveiling each of four new episodes that will be replacing existing Cardassian struggle episodes from Badlands through Cage of Fire. And the remainder of the arc beginning as second wave remains unchanged, which is like cool. They're gonna go live with season 11, which means probably pretty soon. Um, you'd think they'd be announcing it more if it was coming out this Thursday. But let's go with October. It says you can easily access these missions. And it's probably because they're doing something with the, what I call the end game, that doesn't make sense unless you change the past. Um, there's a lot of missions within Cardass within the Cardassian struggle that are like, really? This is just a fluff mission. I like the Cardassian struggle. It's got a lot of different missions all over the place, but it's just like, oh my God, it's so long. They may be paring some episodes down uh, but they're redoing the thing because it's like, we're talking about the Orb of the Prophets and the Orb of Possibilities. We speculate that Gul Kardec is using it to somehow contact the Mirror Universe, which goes into line with Counterpoint, the Mirror Universe Five Man that's coming out. Uh, the episode features a brand new Mirror Bajor environment that you must see. So that's the, okay, there's, there's the, I don't honestly, yeah. Now that this says Bajor's finest hollow suites, I don't think that would actually be on regular Bajor little two. Um, although, anyways, I was thinking you'd, you, you'll find so you'll find a lot of strip clubs in, um, the ridiculous religious areas. <laughs> They're not advertised like this, though. But, says, Through the Looking Glass is a second episode in the updated Cardassian arc over the next couple of weeks, blah, blah, blah. This is just, they're, like, previewing the second episodes. So they're going through and they're redoing an, a part of an orb for the Mirror Universe, which... Like I said, they're setting up the story arc so that when new players come through and they hit the the cap stuff, the the end game stuff that's going on with the mirror universe, they're not like, what? And we're all not like, what is this going on? Where'd this orb come from? So you're probably gonna wanna at least play through however many episodes they are, even though you'll probably stomp through them really fast. They might have updated rewards, more like fun rewards in a way, I don't know. That's that. I mean, I'm looking forward to just more idle questing gives me to do. The tier six Hestia class is an advanced escort. So it's got the escort, it's the advanced escort. It's got the four nacelles. It's um, commander uh, tactical, lieutenant commander tactical. And then it's got commander engineering, commander or lieutenant engineering, lieutenant science, and, a and then an ensign science. And then it has more science consoles than it does engineering consoles. It's the science side of the escort family versus the patrol escort, which is like the nacelles up and down here and he's just Yeah, that one's more engineering than science. So the stats of this thing, because I'm not gonna go through the one paragraph. So it's tier six. Obviously they wouldn't be announcing if it was because the other one's like tier five. Vice Admiral, the shield modifier 0.9. Ow, 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 ow. Less shield mod, the shield modifier makes you less than the tool tip. Gross. 150, that's an escort, gotcha. Four weapons, five, three in the back, four in the front, two device slots. Ow! You guys fly escorts. Right here's the bridge officer thing. Commander tactical, lieutenant commander engineering slash command, 
they completely revamped this one because it was Lieutenant Commander Tactical. Now it's a Lieutenant Commander Science, also Ensign Tactical, Lieutenant Tactical. Wow, okay, so they still, there's three engineering, three science, so you've got decent abilities to be able to use like Gravity Well for Lieutenant Commander Science, and you can use like Eject Warp Plasma for Lieutenant Commander Engineering, but there's also command slots in there. I'm now actually like worried to see what they'll do with um, a science vessel that they move up to tier six. But see, this is four tactical, three engineering, three science. Used to be four, three, and two. Six, 16 degrees per second, turn rate, 0.2 impulse modifier. Says friction, traction, 60, but that's just inertia. Uh, plus 15 weapons, plus five engines. Can load dual cannons because it's an escort and that's what they all do. The universal console and let's see, the, the ability package is Escort, so accuracy, defense, damage, crit chance, and then the trait is numerical superiority. Score down and find those. The console, high energy plasma expulsors. This thing can apparently saucer separate. That's weird. Huh. <laughs> okay, it's not even a sideways picture. I'm just like doing the dog thing. <laughs> it's the, bi I'll figure something out here. The inclusion of special heat sinks and particle exciters allows the ship to vent dangerous plasma fire causing plasma damage to nearby enemy ships. When separated, the, oh, the, it's also a multi-vector assault mode. But this thing, oh, it is splitting vertically. Okay, also, it's just kind of hard to tell. So you can actually use that console also. Um, separated sections of the ship will all ignite simultaneously using command bridge officer abilities will cause the plasma fire aura to flare up and cause even more damage to nearby enemies. Okay. The console provides a passive bonus to plasma and tetrion damage resistance, as well as a small boost to weapon power. The console mod can be equipped on advanced escort variants in any console slot. You may only equip one of these mods. Numerical superiority. Uh, after achieving level five, you'll unlock numerical superiority. Uh, while slotted, you gain small damage bonus that increases as more allies target your targeted foe. Good for bosses. <laughs> Good for like, uh, let's just go with um, infected ISC, the like the gate or the cube or even in the like the the tarantulas and the tholian thing. Anything that there's a where you have a bunch of people firing on one giant target is better because numerical superiority. It's not really going to work on probes and the little guys, but when you're all fighting like one boss. And this would actually be a pretty decent thing if you're using on your uh, shuttle, because that'll give you bonus damage while you're at like the Romulan ground mission, where you're all firing upon the uh, walkers. That would work. So, yay, DPS boost. The Starship feature, okay. The tier six fleet I mean, da, 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 has been specifically designed to support your fleet. Fleet Starship, oh, the fleet one. Oh, okay. It's built to have a high, the highest standard and have increased hull hit points, shield strength, and additional con and an additional console slot. The starship features Lieutenant Commander Engineering and Command Specialist seat. Oh, that's just a separate thing in and of itself. Um, oh, this is the fleet one. Oh. 432, 433, 432, so weapons aft, forefront, and device is fine. Hull increases by 4,000 at level 50, and the difference at 60 is 4,000. So it's says, okay. The console, bonus console, is another tactical console. Everything else remains the same as I've said before. So the extra console, oh, and the shield modifier goes to 0.99 from 0.9. I'm rocking a ship here with 1.3, so that's why I look at 0.99, and I'm like, really? Really? And then the very last thing, um, more for me, less for you guys, but if it comes up to a vote, I'd say please vote. Um, they're pleased to announce a new Starfleet Media Core program. Are you an intrepid reporter covering the latest galactic news? Yes. We're looking for you. Sweet. The Starfleet Media Core is seeking to bring community media to the forefront of the news by highlighting the vast array of podcasters, bloggers, live streamers, and more. If you regularly, if you have regularly updated program, Here's a perfect opportunity for you. It is a public initiative open to any captains with regularly scheduled media content, Trek Tuesday. This can include blogs, podcasts, videos, live streams, reviews, and more. Want to know more? Yes. Oh, there's a link. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to deal with this one. I will check with you guys. 
Later, I'm going to comment on this and do what I need to do, and that'll be it. I will check you guys next week, or if you're regular viewers of the channel, check you tomorrow.